Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. But for now, let's get into the video. Okay, I love being a woman so much and men can never and should never be able to feel this euphoric. I literally just took an everything shower. I made myself pesto pasta. My cat is being crazy. I'm pouring myself New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc and I'm gonna sit down and watch the new Real Housewives of Salt Lake City while I burn my pumpkin candle. Men could never. Oh yeah, absolutely. Men could never. It's actually men would never, but sure. Men would never light up a candle to feel euphoric. They'll light up something else. Men could never feel euphoric after an everything shower. That means you shave. And sure, I don't shave my legs, but I do shave my balls. There's nothing euphoric about that. Nothing will beat the feeling of finding a girl that isn't boy crazy, that isn't in a competition with you, that genuinely means all the compliments that she gives you and just has a kind heart. If you find a girl like that, I swear to God, she's your best friend. Marry her. Like, you're not gonna find girls like that anymore. How come? You're all girls, girls, right? What do we mean if you find a girl like that? Shouldn't that be when you find a girl like that? Can't be that hard to find a girl who means the compliment she's given you. It's not like you can't be friends with each other because there's a girl's code and support all women and all that. I figured it out. I know where all of the men who are seeking emotional connection and mental connection and spiritual connection are. Are you ready to hear where they are? They're at home. They're at the gym. They're at work. They're busy healing themselves and they don't have any more time to be seeking out different people at bars or clubs or out in the streets because that's not where they are, all right? If you are looking for one, Find them at your local grocery store. Find them at your local gym, all right? This is where they are because they are focused. They are tired of having women take advantage of them. They are tired of getting manipulated. And apparently, they have all just dealt with a lot of narcissist people and they're just sick of it makes sense they're sick of it and they refuse to deal with everyone like you've described but then you went and said go find them at the gym go and find them at the grocery store wherever and that part kind of makes sense too but if they're sick of it and if they don't want to deal with anyone ever again doesn't really matter if you find them or not so i'm on a date right now and have men just lost the ability to ask questions like i have asked this man probably 30 to 40 questions in the entire time span that we've been on this date he has not asked me one i know every single thing there is to know about him he has not asked me a single question i'm literally in the bathroom right now like i like fully stalling so like i just don't want to be here anymore but like what is going on like why do men have the full inability to not ask questions about themselves like what it's crazy and he's like older too like he's like in his 30s and it's like Come on, babe. He doesn't ask any questions because he doesn't care. He doesn't want to be the reader. You already asked him 30 to 40 questions. That is not a date. Gestapo wasn't even asking that many questions. It's pretty obvious you don't consider another date with that guy since you made this video. Knowing very well he's gonna see it. So why are you still on that date? Oh my god, I'm hiding in the bathroom. Why? You know you can just leave, right? I'm in Rome at the moment and the difference between men in the UK and Italy is crazy. Like today, I was stopped by several men who told me that they were in love with my eyes, they wanted to make love to my eyes, they wanted to take me for dinner, they wanted to draw me, paint me, they wanted to, they were calling me beautiful, Bella, blah 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 blah, literally giving it absolute chat, but like romantic chat, you know, it was very very forward and it was you're gorgeous, you know, you're the type of woman a man marries. I can't, why am I doing an Italian accent? Um, in the UK, I'm lucky if a guy wants to buy me a drink. And he probably just wants to, you know, take you home to... Romance is dead in the UK. Anyone else with me on this? Like, I just feel like I come to European cities and I'm like, what?
There's nothing screams more romance than a guy telling you he wants to make love with your eyes. I mean, don't get me wrong, if that's what you're into, then you go ahead and do what you enjoy most. But I'm also pretty sure if a guy told you that in the UK, well, you do have the police number on speed dial, don't you? Oh no, the guys in the UK only want to take you home and... Uh, yeah, unlike the guys in Italy who told you from the beginning they want to make... Seriously? With your eyes? How to find any men's tinder seeing this guy from hinge and then he was like i don't want anything serious and i was like okay i know my worth i'm gone it was like a discount on my worth or something because i was like i miss him i was not gonna embarrass myself and message him first after i left him on open so i got tinder gold and it has like a travel thing on it i don't know what it's called anyway i set my location to his house not his street his house set it to one kilometer and I found him and we talked for like, I don't know, like, oh, he found him within a minute. Am I crazy? A little, a little crazy, but that is okay. We talked for like a week after that and obviously he still did not want anything. Like, babe, it's fate. We matched on two dating sites. Like, I don't know if it shows your location on Tinder, just make sure you change it back after to your own location in case. In case of what? In case he calls the cops? Or in case you finally realize you have no worth when you behave like that? Oh my god, I know my worth, so let me stalk him. <laughs> Sorry, what? I know my worth, he did me once, I tracked him on a different app, he did me again, <laughs> just so I make sure I have, I still have my worth? No, but seriously, what do you mean when you say you're just a little crazy? What would be for you full-on crazy? men saying i've just decided all together to avoid women that it's better to be single guys they're almost like happy about the fact that they're gonna make the choice to avoid the entire gender of women because they have yet to actually resolve the war they have within themselves it is not because they're fighting a war within themselves. It is because they found peace with themselves. And she was so close. She was just so close to getting there because at least she's recognizing what men are saying. Because they're tired of the complaining, the double standards, the expectations, and the risk of losing everything that they've built. There is no unresolved internal war going on in these men. He just found peace and contentment on his own instead of using that energy and effort on someone else. Yes, she was kind of close, but admitting what you've said means taking some accountability. It meant understanding the real reasons men are saying no. And that would kind of sucks, because she is one of the reasons. It's just pretty much shifting the blame on someone else. But if we're completely honest, it doesn't really matter. The result is still the same. More and more men are saying no. Let's talk about some of the ways you can train any guy into giving you the behavior that you want. How to get that princess treatment? without begging for it. Rule number one is that men do not respond to nagging, okay? Like, don't ever nag for something that you want. You can 100% be straightforward about your needs, but if you're, like, asking him to get you flowers or asking him to open the car door for you, he's not gonna do it. I feel like it's also just, like, an internal downgrade of your standards if you have to sit there, like, begging him to meet your needs so this is what you're gonna do instead you're gonna give him head and you're gonna put a lot of passion into giving him head there is no training a man but there is such a thing as reciprocating value or effort he's gonna open the car door for you you're gonna give him head and again you're gonna have to put a lot of passion into it because there's always another you who think a relationship is transactional going back to what i've said earlier with a lot of men saying no yeah i can't imagine why when you have this reason right here There's a reason why I'm not answering all the men asking, what does it mean when I say, when will men get their shit together? Men with shit together understands what this means. All of the men in the comments think I'm talking about money. Believe me, I am not talking about money. I am not talking about money. And also this was meant for the girls all the girls got my question right off the bat. And yet you chose to respond to a guy's comment. And even though he did mention money, he did not say what you claim he did. I'll read the comment. The guy said this. Controls alcohol and food. Values health. Follows through on promises. Acts responsibly with money. Manages friends and family responsibly. Creates work-life balance. Communicates effectively. Here's the thing, princess. If you don't know how to respond to a comment, just don't. Just post a video complaining about men like you usually do.
It's 2024. Giving your seat up to a woman so she can be comfortable is now misogyny. If you really want to respect a woman, ask her to get up so you can have her seat. A real girl boss stands up so she can look for things to be offended by. Let her know all that sitting is why she's shaped like a sack of potatoes. Let them know you're all for women's rights marches because they could use the cardio. If women were meant to be sitting around, wouldn't the stove be lower? Follow for more sound advice like this. All right, then this is going to be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.